This is just going to be a quick video on animation and the animation feature in GeoGebra. If you're familiar with Geometer Sketchpad, uh, GeoGebra has a similar animation feature, although it's a little bit more limited. Um, specifically, when you animate things in GeoGebra, they need to be tied to a slider. So I'm just going to make uh, two sliders here. Here's slider A. I'll let it go from negative 5 to positive 5 and slider B I will also let go from negative 5 to positive 5. Um, so if I were to just create a point uh, A over here if I uh, tried to animate the point there's no option for it in GeoGebra so I'm, I'm right clicking on it here there's no option to animate um, so instead what you need to do is you need to uh, if I were wanted to define a point that I could animate I need to define it using uh, sl uh, sliders so that uh, I can easily uh, create a sort of a, a range of possible values so I'm just putting in um, parenthesis a comma b uh, just to define this point using a and b my two sliders and now you can see there's there's a now if I want to animate this point I can simply animate this slider so I right click on the slider click animation on and when I do that you should see down here that there's a pause button that has appeared and this pause button allows you to start and stop the animation uh, one word of caution here it might appear that it's a little choppy on my screen and that's simply because I'm using a, a Java um, screencasting software and it appears to interfere a little bit with uh, with GeoGebra uh, in terms of uh, it's also running Java. Uh, now if I wanted to also animate uh, B uh, while A is animating I could just simply right click on B and now I've got both of them animating. You can see that um, A and B right are, are they appear to be sort of changing at the same rate they're both changing by a tenth uh, every step uh, but there is an issue in that um, they're not synced and so if I wanted to sync them the easiest way to sync them is just to pause it and then set both A and B to the same uh, value so I'll set A to 0 and B to 0 now uh, you have to make sure that when you do this uh, A and B were both increasing or both decreasing when I hit pause so now uh, they were both decreasing so now I've set them both at 0 and now you can see that they're both decreasing at the same rate uh, when they get to the end here they'll switch and start uh, increasing again so this is one way you can use uh, animation you can animate things independently or you can animate many things together um, if I wanted to just stop say uh, A from uh, moving uh, I can just right click on the slider and then check on animation off and you can see immediately now uh, the point is only moving in the vertical direction so that's just a little thing on animate. Um, it's important to note that you need a slider. Uh, whatever you're using, you need to have defined using a slider in order to use animate.